everybody, welcome to our preschool kindergarten class. My name is Sister Antoinette, and today's lesson is about how God opens the eyes of the servant. And our Bible point for today is God keeps me safe. So there are a lot of things that can happen in our life that can come to scare us, whether it's a big scary dog, you know, a snake may come, some people may be scared of heights. There are lots of things that happen that can scare us. But we have to know that no matter what, God will keep us safe. And so when we are scared, when we are afraid, we can pray to God. We can recite our Bible verses and the scriptures that we've learned to help us to calm down and not be afraid and know that God is with us and that he will always keep us safe. So in today's Bible story, today's Bible story is about a man named Elisha and his servant. Now, Elisha was a prophet. And if we remember correctly, a prophet is a messenger of God. Right, so it was the prophet's job to hear from God. So God would speak to the prophet, and then the prophet would go and tell everybody what God has said. And that was Elisha's job. But some people didn't like what God was saying to Elisha, and they wanted to hurt him. And so we're gonna go into our story, and we're gonna see Elisha in the middle of a war, in the middle of a battle. And his servant that was with him was very afraid. And so I want you to see what God did to show the servant that he would always keep him safe. Let's check out our video. A long time ago, the king of Aram chose a spot for the Israelites to fall into his trap. The ambush was a secret. The Israelites couldn't find it on a map. A holy man learned of the king of Aram's plot. I must tell my king, he quickly thought. This man was no ordinary Israelite. His name was Elisha the prophet. His gift was very special. Not even kings could top it. Elisha was a messenger of God and could tell others what God said. He could even warn leaders before evil plans had a chance to spread. Elisha told the king of Israel, Watch out! King Aram has set up a trap for your army in this place. It's an ambush you do not want to face. The king of Israel warned his army not to visit that place. But the king of Aram found out and was furious. How could the Israelites find out? King Aram was very curious. The king of Aram called his officers and asked, Which one of you gave our secret away to the king of Israel? Tell me fast. Sir, Elisha was the one who told of our secret plan. He must not be any ordinary man. The king of Aram sent horses and chariots to surround Elisha's town. He planned to stage a violent showdown. Elisha's servant saw the horses and chariots and was worried. But Elisha replied in a hurry. Don't worry, there's no need to hide. We have God's angels on our side. And because God loves and favors us so, we can be confident we are safe. This I know. God, open my servant's eyes and let him see. So he knows that he's safe with God and believes me. The scene was incredible. The servant was amazed. God's protection was visible. The servant knew to give God praise. The servant's eyes were open to see God's actions. When the Arameans eventually attacked, Elisha prayed with passion. God, make the Arameans blind so that all they see is darkness before their eyes. The entire Aramean army was blinded by God's power. They followed Elisha straight to the king of Israel in a matter of hours. As they entered the city, Elisha prayed from afar. God, open their eyes so that they see where they are. The king of Israel wanted to defeat the Aramean army, but Elisha had other plans. Send the army back to their king and get ready to prepare them a feast. They've done enough for today and should be released. Because of God's power and protection, the Arameans didn't bother Israel anymore. Remember, no matter what happens, God is fighting our battles in the midst of any war. Our video, how the servant was super, super scared. So now we have Elisha and his servant in the middle of a battle, in the middle of war. The enemies are surrounding them all over the place. And Elisha was calm. Elisha wasn't scared at all because he knew that God was with them. But the servant was very, very scared. And so the Bible says that Elisha prayed and he prayed that God would open the eyes of his servant so that he could see. 
And so God listened to Elisha and he opened the servant's eyes. And the Bible says that the servant saw horses and chariots of fire all around about them. And so the servant saw that God was with them and that God was going to keep them safe. And so today in our activity, we're going to talk about some things that scare us and how God keeps us safe from those things. Even today, even though we're not in a physical battle, there are still some things that could come against us that can scare us. So parents, if you're watching this video with your children, I want you to pause it right here and go to the church's website. That's ctacma.org. That's ctacma.org. And on the church's website, under the ministries tab, I want you to go to Christian education. And then right underneath our preschool video, you're going to see a link to the PDF for the activity sheet for today. Um, so if you have the ability to print from home, please pause the video and go print that now. If you don't have that ability, you can give your child a sheet of paper and some crayons, some color pencils so that they can draw and complete the activity right along with us. Uh, so pause the video now if you have that ability. If not, I want you to go ahead and look at the video now and enjoy the activity. And so here we have our lesson 12 activity and it says, God keeps me safe. God opens the servant's eyes. So remember in our Bible story, Elisha prayed that God will open his servant's eyes so that he can see all the angels fighting for them. So let's start an activity here. Let's read our instructions. It says, with a blue crayon, circle the things that scare you sometimes. With a red crayon, circle the things that scare you all the time. And then it says, cross out the things that don't scare you at all. So we have our red crayon, we have our blue crayon, and then I have a green one. So it doesn't say use a green one to cross out, but we're going to use a green one here to cross out the things that don't scare us at all. So let's start at the top. We have a little kid riding a bike here. Now, when I first le learned how to ride my bike, it was a little bit scary for me. But now that I've learned, it's not scary at all. So you can circle yours blue if it still scares you sometimes or red if it scares you all the time. But I'm going to cross mine out with green because that doesn't scare me. And next we have a couple holding a baby. That's not scary, right? No, that's not scary. So we're going to cross that one out with green too. And so then over here we have ice cream. Is ice cream scary? No, ice cream's not scary, right? We're going to cross that one out too. We're doing good so far with all the green here. And so now we have a kid at the top of a ladder. It looks like he's scared of heights. Now, are you scared of heights? Does heights scare you sometimes or all the time? I'm going to put all the time because heights scare me all the time. So I'm going to circle that one and I'm going to circle it red because heights scare me. And now here at the bottom, looks like we have a kid dealing with a really mean bully. Now, the mean people scare you. Do they scare you sometimes or all the time? I'm going to put blue because mean people, when they are really mean, they can be scary sometimes. So we're going to circle that one. I'm going to circle mine blue. Now, at the bottom, we have a girl who's woken up out of her sleep. It looks like she had a nightmare. Are nightmares scary? Yes, nightmares are definitely scary for me. When I have a bad dream, it's super scary. So I'm going to make that red because that's scary for me all the time. And now we have a dog here. Looks like he is growling. Are dogs scary for you? Dogs can be scary to me sometimes. Not all the time. It depends on how big the dog is. If it's a really big dog and he's really loud, I might be scared. So I'm going to circle that one blue. All right, now we have a kid here at the doctor and he looks like he's getting a shot. Now, are needles scary? Do you think needles are scary? I think they could be scary sometimes, right? I'm gonna make that one blue. Now you can be scared of needles all the time, so you may wanna circle yours red. And if you're not scared of needles at all, then you can cross yours out with green. And so now we have a snake. Are snakes scary? I think they're definitely scary. And snakes aren't scary all the time for me. So I'm going to put, I'm going to circle that one red. I don't like snakes. If you like snakes, you can cross yours out green or you can circle it blue if it's only scary sometimes. But snakes scare me a lot. So I circle mine red. And now here it looks like we have a kid in the dark. Now is the dark scary for you? Do you have a nightlight in your room? Let's see. I think the dark can be scary sometimes. So I'm going to make mine blue. Now, if you're scared of the dark all the time, you can make yours red, but mine is going to be blue. All right, so it looks like we completed our activity here. 
we crossed out some things, we circled some things red and some things blue. And so what does it say at the bottom here? It says, I will serve God and not be afraid. So look at all our blue and all of our, all of our red. So when we are afraid, that is the time that we can pray to God so we can help, so he can help us see that he is for us. And if God is for us, he's greater than anything that can come against us. So we see here that we can use these times to pray to God and help us with our fear and help us with being scared. Oh, you see, we have our activity sheet here. And again, we crossed out the things in green that didn't scare us. The things circled in blue are things that scare us sometimes. And then the ones we circled in red, they scare us all the time. And at the bottom, we have, I will serve God and not be afraid. So we're going to take the time to pray today that God will make, that God will keep us safe, that we will know that God keeps us safe so that we won't be afraid of all the things that we circled in red and that we will no longer be afraid of the things we circled in blue as well. Now, if you don't have this activity sheet, I want you to take some time to draw the things that scare you. And then I want you to cross out those things as we pray so that you can know that God always keeps us safe. And if you, the students that do have the activity sheet, if you want to spend some time to color in all the things here, you can. And then we have the man in the middle with the sword of the spirit. So you can color him in as well. So we're going to take some time to pray today that God will keep us safe. Jesus, we thank you today for our Sunday school lesson. We pray that you help us to know that you are always keeping us safe. That when we are afraid and when we are upset, God, that we can be calm knowing that you are with us, knowing that you have an army that is around about us, knowing that no matter what happens, that you will keep us safe from all harm. We pray that you help us to pray to you when we are afraid. We pray that you help us to memorize our Bible verses, memorize some scriptures so that we can recite them when we're afraid. And we thank you, Jesus, for always being with us and for always keeping us safe. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, I thank you for joining me for today's lesson. I pray you remember that God is always with you and he is always keeping you safe. Until next week, you have a great week, everybody. Bye-bye.